Once again, I don scrubs, cap, mask, shield, gowns and gloves. Who I am concealed, eyes inscrutable through my shield. My name is Dr. Laura Harilek. I'm an ICU doctor at Toronto Western Hospital. We're constantly fielding calls, either about patients who are already in the ICU, patients who are coming to the ICU, patients who need to come from outside the hospital into the ICU. It's hard to know when you're really done your day and it doesn't really end. That has made it really draining, not only physically draining, working in the mask and the equipment, but that lack of contact and, and trying to constantly put the humanity back into what we do. You have to break terrible news over the phone and, and all you can do is listen as somebody cries. And, and you can't hold their hand, you, you, you can't hug them. I try to keep my voice from breaking, though my heart is shredded and aching. As you cry, know my own eyes are far from dry. Writing has helped me in multiple dimensions. It actually became a tool for me, not only to um, try and explain what we do, uh, but also to help me figure out even more who I am um, and what matters to me and how I cope. I don't think I would have been able to get through um, the things I've had to see, um, the things I've had to treat. Uh, without an outlet like that. As my face falls apart, see the scars across my heart that will always leave a mark. This poetry gives people that opportunity to read something that is not necessarily my story, but allows them to dwell with the words and how does that fit into their story. I've had people who have lost um, those that they've loved, who've actually used parts of what I wrote um, as a way of uh, explaining how they're feeling, of remembering the person that they've lost. And, uh, you know, I remember the first time that happened, I was so moved, I, I was crying. There are others on the way, somehow, I need to get through the rest of my day. No words, grief deferred. If it helps you cope with it, so again, you can be there for somebody else, it's so important to have that, whether for me, writing or some of the other things I do. Everybody needs to understand what it is for them so that we can continue to get through this. Remember what I've been through, though my own memories are few. This, this I know is true. I have survived the ICU.